So another important section of this canto is Brita Sura section, if you will. And many other scriptures the Bhagavatam is described of that book which speaks about Brita Sura between other important topics. Brita Sura will be some sort of demon, um, of, sorry, of an angel dressed as a demon. So the story goes that Indra once he was pretty much intoxicated by pride and enjoyment in Swarga and his Guru Brihaspati came but Indra he didn't make proper respect to him so he lost Guru Kripa. So Indra became weakened and the Asuras took possession of Swarga. So Indra thought well in order to, to become strong again I have to accept the shelter of a Guru but Brihaspati has rejected me I'll have Vishwa Rupa as my Guru. So he accepts it, but Vishwarupa is say he came from a mixed family, from demons and from uh, devas. So when he was making certain yajna, he secretly offered some part of the oblation to the demons as well. So when Indra knew this, he killed hmm, his guru. So the point is that, enraged with that, the father of Vishwarupa, Tuasta, he made a whole sacrifice to create a demon that may kill. Indra. Of course, we know he pronounced by badly one mantra and that created the opposite result. But well, the result was that Vritrasura appeared as a result of that and Vritrasura started to have a fight with Indra. But actually, interestingly, this whole fight, Vritrasura starts to preach the demon and start to preach to the Deva. We know Indra in the Bhagavad is a very big guru for us, mainly a guru that teaches us what we shouldn't do. <laughs> we shouldn't become proud, we shouldn't become intoxicated by possessions and power. So Britishura starts to uh, teach Indra in so many ways in a very concise and a specific way and he starts to glorify Krishna more and more in a very poetic, absorbed, rapturous way. So Indra is totally basically like dumbfounded like by looking at this so-called demon, you know, instructing him, glorifying the Lord more than what Indra could conceive. So this is a very particular section that shows that Vritrasura was not so demon as he seemed like and in the midst of this he recited so many beautiful prayers, historical prayers to Krishna that we will in detail will see in our next session one of these selected gems or selected verses of the month. So see you in the next session for knowing a little bit more about Vritrasura prayers.